Folks, listen, we're about to dive into a racy topic here, so parents, uh, just be a good time to send your kids to clean their rooms. Uh, ladies, I know lots of you gossip with your girlfriends about how to improve your sex lives. Well, my next guest here knows the answers. Uh, she's a woman's sexual health doctor and the author of Love, Sex Again. Please welcome Dr. Laura Stryker. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, doctor, how many, how many women struggle with to enjoy sex? Well, a lot more than you would ever think, because this is one of those taboo topics. So they talk about it with their girlfriends, but not really. So every woman thinks that she is the only one that is not having amazing, mind-blowing sex. And the truth of the matter is, 40% of women are having a problem. So that's the number one message is, is, ladies, you are not alone, and there is help. Okay, now you say the uh, women who lose interest in sex. That's Why? one of the big ones. You know, when you look at all the different sexual problems someone might have, loss of libido is the most common. It's also the most complex. I mean, face it, women are complicated. I mean, guys, you know, pretty much on, off, you know, pretty yeah. simple. <laughs> women, there are, yeah. a, there are a lot of things that can get in the way. Hormonal stuff, medical stuff, relationship stuff. I mean, we're not even talking about the monotony of monogamy. Even if you love the partner you've been with for many years, things do get kind of old. But aside from that, there are real things that can sabotage someone's sex life. Hormones. I mean, throughout a woman's life, you know, PMS, postpartum, birth control pills, menopause, this all is going to impact on her desire to have sex. And then we've got the medical problems. You know, women who have heart disease, diabetes, cancer. Yeah, I mean, all of these things. And then stress. I mean, your kid just came home with another piercing. Oh, it's too long. You, you know, it's a long list. Damn, you know, this... This is... But, but we I'm can... not enjoying this segment. No, but we're, we're, you're gonna. You're gonna. How am I gonna remember all this? Because we're gonna this? talk about the things to fix it, and that's the that's the reality is you can fix this stuff. See, with men, everything you listed that could possibly be wrong: mm -hmm. hormones, PMS, bills, stress, all this here. Sex fix all that. <laughs> Nailed it. That's the difference between men and women. For men, sex is a stress reliever. Yeah. For women, it's another thing on the friggin' to-do list. You know? And it's like, I am so tired, I haven't slept in three days, and all I, I see the bed and I want to sleep. All right. Why else are women avoiding sex? All right. Well, one of the big reasons, again, taboo, they don't talk about it, is sometimes it just hurts. And sane, normal people don't want to do things that hurt. And there are a lot of yeah. things that can cause sex to be very, very painful. So, for example, we know that there are a lot of things that can dry those tissues out. And women, you know, desperate women do desperate things. So the first thing they're going to do to try and get things a little more slippery is they're going to head to those household products to see what they've got. And this is true. So women head down to the kitchen, <laughs> and then they look in the kitchen, they're like, hmm, well, there's some olive oil, and there's, you know, some coconut oil. And, I mean, let's think about this. Do you really want to smell like olive oil? No. I don't care. No, you know, you... <laughs> Now, I always said this, this stuff is better for making lunch than making love. <laughs> Not to mention, it doesn't really last very long. These things aren't condom compatible. I mean, let's, let's be realistic here. We've got 50% of women that are out there single. They need to not just make it slippery, they need to make it safe. So you can't use all that stuff in your kitchen. So then you gotta head to the drugstore, okay? Heading to the drugstore is no party either because you, like, think you're gonna run into your church group or something. <laughs> This is for the baby's bottom, not for the grown-up's bottom. I'm just saying. My weapon of choice. <laughs> oh, I'm about to make things a whole lot better for you. I'm going to tell you right now, you can find baby oil anywhere. <laughs> All right, but let's also, let's just be, let's just be right, honest I'm going to open up, Okay, though. it's not going to work for everyone. Why, why is it bad, though? Because is baby it's, oil it's bad? Not, it doesn't last long enough. It's, it's too thin. And it is not condom compatible, and it can cause infection. We know that women that use baby oil and Vaseline, all of those things that can increase the risk of yeast infections and bacterial infections. So you have to use stuff that was meant to go there. That stuff was not meant Some to go there. Some people. <laughs> not everybody. 
better than nothing in a pinch. But head over to the drugstore, get something that's meant for that. Okay, like what? Okay, so there's two kinds of lubes. You know, people, they go into the drugstore and they're like in a panic because they're gonna run into someone they know. So they grab the first thing. Right. You don't wanna grab the first thing. You wanna know what you're getting. Okay. There's two kinds of lubricants. There's okay. the water-based lubricants, which are the most common ones out there. And they're okay, but they get kind of sticky. They don't last very long. They're cheap. You can do better than that. Baby, we don't want... ever get sticky. <laughs> I'm gonna about to tell you the marriage saver. The silicone lubes are the ones that will make the difference because with a silicone lube, things are really slippery, lasts a really long time, condom compatible. This is the good stuff. Where? Little pricier. Which one? Little pricier. Would you like to? Would you like? Want to, want to try some? This you have no idea. This is. Come on, come on, come on. Let me, let me see. See, you got this technique. Okay, okay you got to run. <laughs> All right. I like that. You want to put that up against your baby oil? I like that. This is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is nice right here. It's nice. It don't splash either. It's nice. You do this here, baby oil splash. Right, and there's no splash. I done got it all over this some is, This is before. slick. You can also use this to massage. Oh, yeah. Makes your hair smooth and shiny. It's multi-purpose. A lot of things when yeah. you go to the store... How much that cost? It, what, it's not worth it for the special woman in your life? I it's just asked dollars. how much it's, it's it was. It's a few dollars, a few dollars. This Good ain't stuff. but a dollar, though. Yeah. I don't know what for. You get what you pay for. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is really nice, though. This right here, though, see, let me tell you something. See, this, this what you can't do with this here. This product, you gotta be right there. You can start your sexiness, sexiness for 10 feet away. It's true. You can... You fire that right there. You shoot that. You shoot that. Okay. I, 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 I do think this is worth a try. It is worth I it. And the other thing also very, is, very is keep in mind, all these lubricants just make things more slippery, but they don't actually change the tissue. Sometimes you really have to plump up the tissue, thicken the tissue if you're a woman and things are dry. So that's where you get the long-acting moisturizers like Replens that's actually going to increase the water content. And then there's some prescription products. Some women, they, they got to go to their doctor, they got to right. get a prescription, right. because at the end of the day, dry and thin is dry and thin. And yeah. you just have to... <laughs> Plumping up. No woman should have painful sex. Right. And the guys don't want them to either. You know, no. the studies have shown that, that the guys, they hold back because they know that it's going mean, to hurt. Look, if you love your girl, you don't want to be in it. This you don't can't be a pain. Pain. No, I no, love, you want to make love it your good. girl. What Absolutely. is this about? This should be good for everybody here. You want it to be good? You want her to get over that mountain there? You don't want it... To... Over the mountain. Over the mountain. <laughs> over a lot of mountains. And a lot of women have trouble with that. I mean, those are, and again, it's all about blood flow. It's about hormones. If someone has a weak pelvic floor, and we see this a lot after babies, with coughing, with time, if someone doesn't have a pelvic floor that contracts, not much is going to happen. And women need to understand that they can, just like you go to the gym and you can pump up and, you know, get your arms mm -hmm. strong, you can strengthen your pelvic floor, which is not only going to keep you from peeing on your partner, because we don't want you peeing on your partner, <laughs> but we also want you to be able to get over the top. And there is there is help for that. There is actually a new device. There's a home device called Apex that you can get from your doctor that is like a trip to the gym for your pelvic floor. And it will make a huge difference in your love life. Can I, can I ask you a favor? You can, can I have anything. you Can I have you come back sometime? Because I think that you have some great information. And I think we should do more, 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 more segments like this. Well, I would love to. Hey, listen, folks, uh, to learn more about improving your sex life, read Dr. Stryker's book called Love Sex Again. It's available now. And guess what? Everybody in the audience is going home with a copy.